20 years ago, on September 11, 2001, America was forever changed when four flights, all bound for California, were hijacked. The first, American Airlines Flight 11, took off from Boston at 7.59 a.m. heading to Los Angeles. 76 passengers, 11 crew members, and five hijackers were on board. The second flight, United Airlines Flight 175, was also LA bound from Boston. It took off at 8.15 a.m. with 51 passengers, nine crew members, and five hijackers on board. The third flight, American Airlines Flight 77, took off from Washington Dulles International Airport in Virginia at 8.20 a.m. with 53 passengers, six crew members, and five hijackers on board the flight to Los Angeles. The final hijacked plane, United Airlines Flight 93, took off at 8.42 a.m. from Newark International Airport after a delay caused by routine traffic. 33 passengers, seven crew members, and four hijackers were on the San Francisco-bound flight. Just four minutes after United Airlines Flight 93 took off from Newark Airport at 8.46 a.m., American Airlines Flight 11 crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City. At 8.50 a.m., President George W. Bush, who was visiting Emma E. Booker Elementary School in Sarasota, Florida, was first alerted of the crash. At the time, his advisors thought it was a tragic accident. 17 minutes after the North Tower was struck, United Airlines Flight 175 crashed into the South Tower of the World Trade Center. The time was 9.03 a.m. At 9.05 a.m., President Bush was informed of the second plane crashing at the World Trade Center. At 9.30 a.m., President Bush delivered his first remarks on the attacks at Booker Elementary School. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. Uh, two airplanes, have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. And now if you join me in a moment of silence. At 9.35 a.m., President Bush left for Sarasota Bradenton International Airport to board Air Force One. Moments later, at 9.37 a.m., American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon. At 10.03 a.m., the final hijacked flight, United Airlines Flight 93, crashed into a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania after passengers and crew members stormed the cockpit. Their actions prevented a fourth attack. The 9-11 Commission report concluded the plane's target was Washington, D.C., where both the Senate and the House were in session at the Capitol building. <laughs>